Hello everybody. Thank you for tuning in to my channel called Just Telling My Truth. So we have a topic today that I really know a lot of y'all, y'all not going to feel it, but I have to say what it is. You feel me? But before we start, I need you to hit that like and subscribe button, you know, for more, you know, future content. You feel me? All right. Let's get to the nitty gritty. I want to talk about Father's Day. We rarely take interest in Father's Day. Yes. Even the big stores rarely take interest in Father's Day. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many stores I have been to and haven't seen nothing on the shelf for Father's Day. You feel me? Now, I know that we have, a, we have, a, um, we have an amount of men who don't always want to play daddy. You understand? They don't always want to play father. You feel me? That sometimes they abandon their children or they can't take the nonsense of the mother. Yes, I said the nonsense of the mother. And so they decide, well, I'm just not going to be bothered because it's too much. And they just disappear. Now, I know that that's a lot. It's a lot to take in. But feel me on this. Why is Mother's Day and Father's Day so different? Because we have mothers that abandon their children. We have mothers that are deadbeats too. You feel me? We have women who don't want to be bothered with their children and sometimes they leave them off on their parents or they leave them off on um, the baby father. And then the baby father has to raise the children alone. You understand? So the same thing, it's on both sides. It's on both sides, but we rarely talk about the women doing it. You understand? Now, what I wanted to say is that we need to really take heed to some of these things that happen. You always hear the stars talking about chase that bag. You always hear the stars talking about you don't need no man. You could do everything by yourself, all these things, right? And so... Our culture has this thing that, oh, we don't need a man. We can survive without a man, right? And that old saying, and I hope some of y'all might remember this old saying they used to say, um, I, could do, I don't need no man. I could do bad by myself. Now, truthfully, you kind of cursing yourself because you're sitting up there talking about, I could do bad by myself, right? Why would you want to say, I could do bad by myself? I don't want to say I could do bad by myself. I want to say I'm going to do good. I'm going to do great. I'm going to do amazing. You understand? But we have this thing that we say all the time when we dealing with men. So now what I want to say is that we need to get all this nonsense out of our system. Yes. All this bashing men type nonsense. We got to get this out because some of y'all ladies, look at your sons. Look at your sons. They're going to grow up in this same world with all this nonsense. That same thing that you doing to his father, you giving him hell, all this stuff, right? Your son going to have to go through the same thing. Yes. Yes. So truthfully, who fault is it that he's the baby father? I just want to, I just want to know. Who fault is it that he's the baby father? Mommy, it's your fault. Yes, it's your fault. Because we choose these men. We choose them. Sometimes we look at a man and see how fine he is. He look fine as wine. He got this, he got that. And we choose him. And then we don't listen to what he's saying when he say, oh, I don't want no more children. Or I don't want a relationship. We don't listen to none of that. We only listen to what plays in our head. Just like Cinderella. Yes. That's Cin we're going to call it Cinderella syndrome. Yes. We play that in our head and we think that that's right. It's not right, baby. It's not right. Okay. We have all this uh, imagination that we be thinking that the man is this and that. And no, you didn't pick the Prince Charming. You did not. You picked somebody else who just wanted to um, do his thing and get up and go. Yes, you didn't pick the right one. So you need to learn how to 
to um you need to learn how to change how the way you pick men yes all these things stem from the way you pick men when you sit up there and you say oh men ain't you know what i'm about to say when you sit up there and say men ain't you know what i'm about to say right okay when you sit up there and say all that no baby it's the men you pick that ain't you know okay you gotta change the way you pick men Okay, there's a lot of good men out there. There's a lot of good men out there, but you looking at the outer shell of this man and you thinking, oh, he fine as wine. He got all this and that. And baby, he got all this dark stuff inside waiting for you. Yes, all this nonsense waiting for you, baby, because you busy chasing the bag. Yes, yes. You listening to all the social media tell you, yes, chase the bag. You need a man who got a bag. You doing all this. Then they teaching you how to disrespect your man. Oh, yeah, tell him this. F, 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 F this. All this other nonsense. Embarrassing him in front of his friends. Alexa, stop. Embarrassing him in front of all his friends. Disrespecting him. All these things, right? Now... How is it that he's supposed to be good to you when um, you have just disrespected him, um, embarrassed him? And you know what? That IG stuff. Y'all got to stop that nonsense. All that fighting your man on IG, baby, you got to stop that. That's embarrassing. Okay? That's embarrassing. I'm telling you. And I even feel bad for the brother because sometimes the woman is the one that's beating him up. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you a secret that you probably don't know. I'm going to tell you a secret. If he really used all his strength on you, you would have a problem. Yes. If he really used all his strength on you, you would have a problem. But, you know, y'all don't believe that. That's why y'all be fighting them on IG and all that nonsense. We have to learn how to love our men. Just like we love our girls, we love our daughters, we treat them like eggs, we do all these special things for them. You got to love those sons too. They need you. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I don't agree with uh, them disrespecting you. I don't agree with any nonsense that, you know, um, you and your significant other is going through. I don't agree with that. But y'all have to come to some type of common ground. That makes sense. We got to learn to love each other. All we have is each other. But we sitting up here bashing one another. And we got children together. Now, if the child is grown and you ain't got nothing else to say to the father, then so be it. That's it. You ain't got nothing else to say. Y'all relationship is finished. It's, it's the, boy, the boy or daughter is grown. That's it. But when you, when a child is still young, you have no choice. I have to come to some common ground. If the baby wants to know his father, let him know his father. Let him. If she wants to know her father, let her know her father. It doesn't take anything from you. It's better that you let him know who he is than they get older and they start having resentment towards you. Yes, I know y'all don't want to hear it. I know you don't want to hear it, but baby, it's true. They, you going to have a problem with them when they get older. But let's get back to the nitty gritty, what I really wanted to say. I had to get all that out, but let me get to the nitty gritty. Father's Day need to be celebrated just like Mother's Day. We need to do special things for those good daddies who doing what they got to do. Those good daddies deserve a nice warm uh, bath with bubbles and all that champagne and, and strawberries, baby. They need their feet rubbed, too. They need a nice dinner, all that stuff, breakfast in bed, all that good stuff that we like, okay? When we get those rings and diamonds and necklaces and, and bracelets, baby, you need to do the same thing, too. And if your husband is not like that and he just want you to, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, what I'm about to say. Okay, if he just wants you to, you know, mm, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do that. Do that. Send the kids outside. Yes. Send the kids outside. Send them somewhere. Okay? All right? If he wants you to just be good to him privately, do your thing, my sister. Okay? Do your thing. Okay? Listen. 
Learn how to treat these men. That's why they keep just going off and being with other people. And they don't want to be bothered with you and the kids. They decide they can't take the stress no more. Learn to love who you with. Because somebody else, somebody else will get them and treat them better. Yes. Treat your husband, your boyfriend, your significant other. Treat them well while you got them, baby. Make sure you the peace in the house that make them want to come home at night. Stop worrying about what your girlfriend say about what you're doing, about how you cooking and cleaning for him and how you washing his clothes. Baby, if he's providing, baby, do all you can to do what you got to do. You hear me? Do all you can. Stop listening to your girlfriends telling you foolishness. You understand? Now, if he ain't doing the right thing, then that's 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 another story. But if he doing everything he can, baby, stop listening to your girlfriends tell you foolishness. Because they alone. They ain't got nobody. They busy chasing that bag like they said. Okay? They busy chasing that bag like they said. Don't worry about what they saying. Worry about you taking care of your home. Because you need him to be all right. Because the world got enough nonsense waiting for him. So you need him to have his right mind. When he come home, everybody, this is just a word to the wise. Take heed, take heed. Everybody have a wonderful day. And if you like my message, please like, and subscribe to my page. I appreciate it. Have a good one, everybody.